Oh, I go hanging out on the Hollywood Strip. Never a dull day around Republican Space Rangers. <laughs> well, I'll pull over just up here at the Up and Atom Burger. Well, gotta watch the curb and the Zentorno. Low Zentornos do not like curbs. They'll hit the odd curb pretty hard, actually. <laughs> All right, here we are. Yeah. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online. And today we're going to get ourselves a Monroe. Yeah, there she is up there. So we're going to get ourselves a Pagasi, another Pagasi, the Pagasi Monroe. So let's order that. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I kind of felt like getting ourselves a uh, new car. I've got uh, almost $30 million. So I've been, oh, wrong button. <laughs> it's getting excited. But yeah, I've got, uh, I've been working on money. So and I was working on some other things, but they didn't work out. But the money did, so it just kind of kept on growing and growing lately. So, let's spend some. Legendary Motorsport. All right, so we got to go way down here. I'm not sure if there's a way I could order it faster. Maybe by uh, two-door or something like that. Hmm. Well, it's in here somewhere. Under Legendary Motorsport. I think somewhere around this area. Oh, there's the Stingers. There we are. Pagasi Monroe. All right. So, seats two. Made by Pagasi. Remember Italy's glory days before feminism and the Euro ruined everything? <laughs> when a suitcase full of beer would buy you an espresso and a pack of cigarettes, if you were lucky? <laughs> Produced by old money Italians in the 1960s. Driven by new money Guidos in the 2010s. The Monroe is a classic supercar that has been making douchebags look stylish for over 50 years. All right. And we're going to vote to be one of those douchebags, too. Yay. <laughs> All right, what do we order it in? Hmm. I'm thinking about a... I was thinking about a gold. It really does a gold really well. And I was thinking about, uh, actually, maybe we'll do a uh, the matte pearl lesson trick and do a white. White is a classic uh, color for this particular car, too. But we'll order it in red just to see it in a nice uh, sports car color first. Yeah. So let's see. Order. Del Barrow Heights. There we go. Sold for four hundred ninety thousand dollars. So yeah, the price is four hundred ninety thousand, which isn't too bad for a classic supercar. So it is a sports classic, and uh, it's uh, most people think of it as the Monroe, named for Marilyn Monroe up there on the wall there. But a lot of people actually think it's um, uh, named for uh, kind of like a, a little Easter egg for uh, the Italian Job. So for those that remember that, the Italian Job is kind of a famous uh, car chase and uh, heist movie. And uh, at the beginning of the Italian Job movie, uh, I didn't even know this either until I looked it up, that there's a uh, beginning of that, there's a Lamborghini Mura. And most people consider this car that we're just looking at there to be a Lamborghini Mura. Yeah, so let's open the car here. Yeah, Mura, Mura. <laughs> it's got some elements with some other cars too, like the Ford GT40. And it also has elements on the back taillights, as you guys will see from the 1969 Corvette Stingray. But overall, it's a, uh, especially with those chrome stripes that we're going to see on the sides, it makes it a Lamborghini um, Mira. And the Mira is a very famous supercar. So we're going to go get one of those. Yeah. Anyway, at the beginning of the Italian Job movie, there's a, um, a Lamborghini in orange, Lamborghini Mira, at the very beginning. And the song that's being sung is sung by a singer named Matt Monroe. And it's spelt uh, with a R-O, no E at the end. So Matt Monroe. So a lot of people think that's an Italian job reference, being that there's a mirror at the beginning and that the singer is Matt Monroe. But they spelt it Monroe like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Interesting. Now for me, this is one of my classic cars for me. Um, back in my, uh, when I first started playing this on the uh, Xbox 360, um, way, way back on single player, um, before I ever did YouTube, I just started playing on this. And uh, it was one of my favorite uh, cruising around cars, the Monroe. So sometimes uh, you'd have different cruising cars if you're someone like me. You know, I'd have a few different cruising cars in the game. A lot of people, as you get up more cars, you might have a uh, um, a regular car that's a cruising car. You might have a, uh, a fast uh, hot rod or a fast supercar, both, that's a cruising car. You know, something you just take for rides. And then a lot of people would also have something fancy, you know. Um, something maybe rich, expensive, um, maybe a supercar, but a classier one. And for me, the Monroe was my one of my top choices, if not my top choice. Oh, wrong turn. It's going to my nightclub. Yep. So, our Monroe is delivered. Let's go pick it up. 
It's right here. Bit of a drive from our from our Marilyn Monroe sign. <laughs> but that's okay. We've arrived just in time. <laughs> yeah, another little uh, uh, thing I found funny about the, uh, Lam uh, the Lamborghini Amira is at the very beginning of a, a well-known song from the past, um, uh, the uh, Panama, uh, Eddie Van Halen's uh, uh, in the song Panama, you know, for most people, <laughs> A cheesy metal tune, but at the very beginning of that tune in the uh, in the video, you hear a revving engine, and uh, I don't even think you see the car. You just hear a revving engine for a moment, and then the video starts up, and that's actually Eddie Van Halen's uh, very own uh, Lamborghini Mira. Yep, and here she is, right here in red. Woo! -hoo. Look at that, very nice. So the back window louves louves by default, automatic. I think they're stuck on there. There's no way to change them, but I like them. They're kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, so very much a Lamborghini Mira. Although it does have different lights, but still very similar enough. And it's, you know, with Rockstar, it's never identical, right? It, probably for trademark issues, they always mix different cars. So a lot of people see elements of, well, it's a, definitely a Lamborghini Mira. And you can tell by the sign, design if you look at some pictures of it. I think I got some pictures, so I'll show you guys a couple of little pictures of them. Yeah. And you can definitely see the similarities. Yeah. And then um, some people see elements of the Ford GT40, like I was saying earlier. And the... Uh, the, uh, the um, Corvette Stingray. Yeah, specifically a 69 Corvette Stingray. I can kind of see that in the backlights, the similarities. Yeah, let's hear what it sounds like. Mm, nice classic purr. Yeah, very cool. All right, and there's the name there too, Monroe. Very stylish. It's got a nice uh, wood paneling on the inside. We'll we'll take it out and have a look. Yeah, I got some Halloween cars around in here too. <laughs> yeah, Halloween's just around the corner, so you guys might want to save your money if you want to buy any of these Halloween vehicles. There, just around the corner. All right, so here's our stock Monroe. And she's already high strung. Looks like Amazon drag tires by the looks of it. Or is that the uh, revolver? Hmm. Yeah, nice. It's got some high strung, high uh, torque right off the bat. You can see the engine in the back. Yeah. Very nice. All the little lights work at the front, for whatever that's worth. <laughs> and inside it's got a nice wooden dash. Very classic. Remember, this is a classic car from the original game. And uh, to me, it's well done, being that it's one of the originals. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of options as we're gonna see, but the car itself is already, you know, it's a Lamborghini Mira, so it's, I think that is the option in itself. Now the 490,000, I, I, it's not very expensive, but I kind of like paying that. Um, another little uh, Easter egg about that is that, uh, um, apparently Nicolas Cage, it's funny how often he shows up. Nicolas Cage uh, bought one of these, in, uh, what was it? What was it? 1997. Yeah. And for, surprise, surprise, 490000 <laughs> So a lot of people think that uh, Rockstar might have set their price based on what Nicolas Cage paid. Let's take it into our office and then we'll take it into the mod job. Yeah. In the original single player mission, uh, single player game, you actually don't see this car at all. It doesn't spawn in the traffic. You have to order it from the website. I think there's only one mission, if I'm not mistaken, that lets you uh, see it, and that's the Pac-Man mission. Yeah, and the main single-player mission, there's a part in the game um, where you steal a bunch of luxury cars, a um, bunch of the, the uh, characters do, and uh, uh, Lamar, your friend, if you remember him, he steals one of these and uh, when he joins the crew, and you get to drive it as Franklin, I think, for a brief amount of time. But that's the only time you actually see it in the game unless you order one. Yeah, and like I said, it used to be one of my favorite cruising cars. Yes, hey, LJT. LJT here. Hey, yep. LJT, I'm kind of busy. <laughs> Always bugging me. Spending money right now, LJT. I'll be making money soon. All right, so there she is in stock. And there's our other Pegasus here. I just so happen to have them here in our supercar garage. Well, that's our oppressor over there. But yeah, there's the uh, the classic Cheetah Classic and our Reaper and our Tempesta. And there's the Zentorno we were just driving earlier, which I really like too. All right, let's dig it in. Wrong button. 
I always do that. As I said, if Rockstar would just let us go right into the mud shop. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Go to the mud shop. There we go. <laughs> what are we doing today? All right. So lately, um, out of the uh, latest top speed testing, um, and I use uh, Bruffy thirteen twenty two for his testing, and uh, out of the uh, the sports classics, um, it is uh, which is thirty seven plus cars. So out of thirty seven plus cars, because they're always adding cars to it, um, I think the top speed is about fourth, roughly. Uh, which is actually really good and uh, the track speed so twists and turns and figure eights and tight turns things like that it's about 17th so i think that's pretty good actually 17th out of 37 and fourth top speed out of 37 and uh, it's only 490,000. not bad it used to be even higher but uh, now things like the deluxo and things like that have pushed it down all right so, and then, uh, like I said, it's a very famous supercar. Uh, some people think of it as a, uh, one of the grandfathers of the modern supercar. So this, uh, the Lamborghini Mira, when it came out in 66-73, uh, um, I think when this first came out in 66, it was one of the fastest production cars in the world, or the fastest production car in the world. Now, you know, that said, that, that record changes every year or so, as you guys know. So, it, it, you know, it changes all the time. But at the time, this was the fastest one um, um, on the road. And a production car means it was made in a factory. There was a certain amount of numbers made. So there's lots of fancy cars, but a lot of them are not made in high numbers, and not considered to be a production car. A lot of times they did fancy cars for production so they could use them in certain races where they had uh, requirements to do that in order to be able to race the race car in it. Yeah, different conversation, I guess. But yeah, nonetheless, it was famous, and it has the engine in the back, as you see, and at that time it was kind of uncommon. And uh, nowadays, uh, many people consider it, like I said, the grandfather of supercars because this kind of more or less became the template of a lot of modern supercars where they would have this kind of sleek design and the engine in the back. And this was one of the first supercars to catch the mainstream world's attention that uh, did something like that. So a bit of history there. Yeah. So let's get some armor for 50000 Makes sense in these troubled times, I guess. It sure does. <laughs> Race brakes for 35,000. Engine, level four for 33,500. Horn, don't need a horn for now. Headlights, we'll give it some xenon lights for 7,500. All right, hmm, plate. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll change that to missing sock for the Looks moment. Almost as good as you. But if I do the map for lesson trick, I might just leave that for now. We'll come back to that in a second. Suspension, dropping it down to sport suspension, 3,400, not very much at all. Yep. And see that chrome stripe right there? That can't be painted. And that's another giveaway that it's a Lamborghini Mira because they mostly, they, most of their models all had these little chrome stripes right there. So whatever colors you decide, it should uh, kind of go along with that if you wanted to. Because unfortunately, you can't paint it. Reminds me though, you know, if, am I, if I get around to doing a top 10 list of, or top 20, 50 things that I'd like the Rockstar to change, it'd be nice if they gave us black chrome back. And some of the older games, they had that, if you guys know what I mean. Like there was chrome and then there was black tinted chrome. And uh, most of the time, you can't get that in the game, you know, anymore. Just too bad. There's carbon, but that's not the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, for those that remember GTA 4, and you could find certain uh, uh, muscle cars that had chrome, and then that certain ones, you could also find a darker version. It was a dark chrome. And I missed that. Yeah. Transmission, race transmission for 40000 One of the more expensive upgrades. Loper, but she likes it. Turbo for 50000 Stick to the speed limit. I'm joking, of course. She always thinks that joke's funny. Not funny. <laughs> well, speed limit? There's no speed limit. All right, give it the limo tint. That gives it the nice, sleek Your look. Cosmetics are on point. Mm, I like that look. All right. Now, wheels. I uh, might actually know. Now, I was going to go with the Lamborghini Mura kind of look here. And I don't usually do the wheels first, but that's okay. So, there's lots of good wheel choices, as you guys know, and lots of fancy ones. Um, but I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more classic Lamborghini Mira. And to me, the closest you get is the muscle. No rush at all. And I believe it's right here, six gun. And if you look closely at those pictures and things of the Lamborghini Mira, this is very similar, except it doesn't have a center spoke. So I, they kind of had like a little center spoke coming out here. But unfortunately, there, there doesn't seem to be a version of that in the game that combines these kinds of uh, squared holes along with the uh, uh, center spoke. 
but still nonetheless the six gun does a good job it's a uh, it's very similar yeah so i'm gonna get that hmm, i thought about getting it in chrome because it would go along with that chrome strip pretty well yeah very shiny actually wow hmm That is tempting, actually. Looks shinier than I thought it would. Hmm. Hmm. But I think I was going to go with a black look. Maybe we should do the paint job first. So we're all, all done our options otherwise, I think. Yep, that's everything. So not a whole lot of options, but like I said, to me, the car is the option. Hmm. So the respray. So there's only one color, primary color. No secondary, no interior, no trim, no nothing like that. But it is a uh, original car from the original game. Now with this one, I think we're going to try the matte pearlescent trick. So uh, for those of you that don't know how to do that, and they did remove it and put it back in, and then it worked in certain garages and it didn't work in certain garages. I've already tested it uh, just to make sure it worked in the Los Santos Customs, um, but I haven't tried it in our uh, office mod shop yet. So we're going to try that out right now. And if it doesn't work, we'll just drive down the street to Los Santos Customs. But you guys will see how that works. So how do you get a pearlescent paint job on a, uh, on a matte paint job? So normally you can't, so we're going to pick our matte here. And this car looks so great in matte black. Oh yeah, and you guys probably want to see colors. <laughs> we should go through the colors. Yeah, before I decide here. Orange. Yeah, all the matte paint jobs. But obviously a nice black looks really nice. And we'll go through these paint jobs for you guys. Yeah, gasoline green's nice. Lime green. Believe it or not, actually, Lime Green is, uh, I think it won awards with a Lime Green one a few years back. So Lime Green, I think, is one of the original colors kind of for it. Or one of the colors, colors that goes well with, go, blah, blah. <laughs> sorry, new lips, that goes well with it. Yeah, yeah, which is funny, I'm not exactly a Lime Green kind of person, but, uh, but it actually uh, does a decent job on this car. Yeah, and is uh, well known in real life for it. Yeah, so there's cream. Yeah, and I was thinking a cream might do well too. Very, uh, very rich supercar kind of look to it. Yeah, purples, blues, browns. A lot of the metallic browns look great on these older cars too. Yeah, even the bison brown, just almost like a brown silver combo. Yeah. There's some blues, race blues. Blue, just regular blue looks nice. Some greens, green monsters. Yellow and black does a great job in this car. Yep. And there's some bronzes and golds. And uh, we've talked about before that not every car does a good gold. You know, some gold comes off as uh, too much or tacky or things like that. But this is one of the cars that actually does a really good gold or bronze. Yep, and orange, of course. Very awesome. Bubbles or something? Yeah, it's hard to decide between uh, all these different awesome colors. Yeah, but I was thinking we'd try the matte for less thing. So we're going to go back to that. And I was thinking about trying a white, because the white is another classic car choice for this. So kind of like a white and black style. Yeah. There we go. So we're going to go with the white. So it's ice white matte color, not bright enough for what I'm looking for. So you go to pearlescent and says, sorry, your vehicle must have a metallic. So that's the problem. So to do the trick for to get the uh, uh, pearlescent on the metallic, you just simply go to metallic. So we've already picked our matte paint job. So pick your matte paint job like we have. So we've picked our white. Now we're going to go metallic. We're just going to sit there, not picking any colors or anything. Just going to sit there for a second. Now I'm going to back out. Making decisions is stressful. Now you got to change one part. So we're going to change our plate. So we're going to make it yellow and black like I like. I've Done. Got that installed for you. Now we can pop back. And you can change it back later too if you wanted to. Oop. Oh, I hope I didn't mess it up just now by doing the different order. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Erg. Well, I said about you can change it back, so now we're going to find it. Okay. Got to get my buttons on right here. Metallic. Change our plate. I'll have to change it back now after. Now we'll go back to respray. Primary. 
for a lesson. Oh, didn't work this time. Hmm. Maybe I didn't sit on the metallic long enough. Waiting. Should be long enough. There it is. Hmm. Did work last time. When I tested it. Maybe it's not working here in the mod shop. Maybe the office mod shop doesn't work. Hmm. Because like I said, Rockstar kind of removed it, and then certain garages, it could work again. So I'm going to try it just for the heck of it one more time here. I don't mind spending a little bit of money. So just to be thorough, just to make sure, I'm going to switch my paint job again. Got a metallic. Switch to plate. Not a bad job. Go back. Per lesson. Not available. <laughs> Be your best you. <laughs> Be your best you, everyone. <laughs> well, that did not work. <laughs> so we're going to fly over here to Los Santos Customs and see if it works there. Because I did work on a test, so I wonder if it is the office office uh, mod shop that just doesn't let you. And some people are saying there was oh, oops, difficulties with the um, uh, the Avenger and the MOC as well, getting this trick to work. It shouldn't really be a trick. Like really, Rockstar should just fix it and just allow it. I don't know why they don't allow it. Because there, you know, there could be more variety in colors. Um, so why not just allow the Matt Burlesque trick and just fix it so it works all the time? Today. I'll fix up that bumper and then we're gonna try some paint. All patched up. Thank you. Alright, respray. Now I wonder if I have to actually change matte paint job again. We'll just try going to metallic. And then change our part. There we go. Factory spray, burlescent. See, now we're in burlescence. Strange. So, your office shop does not work for Matt Burlescent trick, apparently. Yeah. Hmm, too bad I didn't know that at a time. But Los, now we know Los Santos Customs is the way to go, apparently. If you're going to do any of those tricks for now. Yeah. And some of those uh, Avenger things and MOC weaponized vehicles, they can some of them, many of them, you can actually bring into Los Santos Customs for paint jobs and things like that. So if you can, you can get around it that way and then bring it back to the Avenger MOC for uh, for all the rest of the upgrades. Yeah. So now we've got that. Now I'm going to decide which one. So I wanted to brighten it up a little bit. I was actually thinking about a nice white pearlescent or something like that. White on white. But there we go. Not necessarily. A lot of good colors though. But they come through and they kind of change it to pinks and oranges and things like that. And I did kind of want to keep it white. So I can make it a darker white with a black pearlescence. Kind of gives it almost a shadow wherever you look. Permanent shadow. Yeah. Alright, the chest there. Now, but you can see it brightens up that matte white here and there. You can see it on the corner a lot better than most places. And when it's in the direct sun, you can see a lot of this too. Yep, salmon pink actually works on a lot of things, believe it or not, to brighten up things. And it doesn't actually make it pink very often. It's hard to explain, but if you play around with it, you'll see. We've used it in some previous ones. Yep, so I'm just kind of looking through, but I think I am just going to go with the white. Uh, 
yeah the gold gives it a nice warm glow similar to our other uh, our other white one the LG retro custom yeah so I think I'm gonna go with that frost white so if you can't tell the difference I'm gonna pop off of that see how it just got darker Oh, it let me back in for a lesson. I was thinking I might have to do that trick again, but nope, it let me back again. Yay! All right, frost white. Was it ice white? Oh, I'm wasting money today. Yeah, it was ice white that I wanted. I wanted the brighter white. Being it's on a mat, we'll see how it goes out in the sun. Okay, so that's the mat for a lesson trick, and now we're back to the wheels, and then we are done. We know our wheel type. So now I can decide if I wanted that chrome or not. Chrome is nice. Goes with the chrome strip. But I think I might like the black. So we're going to go six gun. This is an exactly classic, <laughs> but, uh, but it gives it a nice darker look though. Yeah, there's black. We could go with some other colors. Just to highlight them if you wanted to. And there's the frost white to go white on white. I think I'm going to go black. Yeah, full black. Yeah, full black. All right, do I want that on there? Hmm, looks all right either way. Adds a little bit more white detail for the white on black. Yeah, I guess I will. It looks good either way though. Bulletproof tires for 25,000. I want them anyway. And black tire smoke for 5,000. All right, that is everything. Let's get her out in the sun. Now, keep in mind, guys, I do have a lot of other vehicles too, like in reds and yellows and all kinds of stuff. So, um, but you know, I'm almost, uh, it's one of those hard to decide vehicles. I would have liked this in orange. I would have liked this in a lot of different, uh, different colors. But I did think a nice white and black would do well, and it gives us a chance to do the Matt Pearlescent trick again. Make sure it still works, and it does in the Los Santos Customs. <laughs> Here we are inside. Oh, when you look backward, you, you look backward. You don't look inside, but you can manually look backward. Yeah, let's open it up. There she is. All right, get my pistol out here for a second. So you can see it's got the spare tire in there, but most people don't worry about matching it because you usually don't even see that tire. And um, it's hard to find a good matching one. Plus that's a little, um, like a classic spare tire. It's very thin, you know, like a lot of them were. Not, not exactly a full tire. But the engine here is in the back. And it's got a nice looking engine too. So you guys can see there. When you think about the fact that this is a uh, classic vehicle, right? So it's from the original game, not not new, no bennies, no, no none of those things existed. Um, this was like, what, 2013 launch and it had an engine like that. <laughs> so not bad at all. And I like the interior. I like that classic interior for the uh, classic supercar. Very uh, old school Italian, if you ask me. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah. Wasn't sure if that frost rate might be too bright. But I did want it to be bright. It is a supercar. But funky with the matte pearlescence. Yeah, very cool. Slow down a little bit here. 
Yeah, like I said, this used to be one of my favorite cruising cars. Very cool. Sleek and stylish. But nowadays there's a zillion other good choices, but it definitely deserves a spot in my garage. And 490000 isn't too, uh, too expensive at all, by today's standards. Oh. <laughs> I was spinning out on the turn there, but apparently I lose the traction. <laughs> and I like the back loose. I wish more cars had uh, the option to put those on there. Yeah, they were in a lot of uh, old cars from the previous games, and I kind of miss them. They're still in this game, but not too many. Oh, it's great. Uh, almost looks like a flame, anyway. <laughs> well, that is our Monroe, everybody. Very cool. Yep, I do like it. And like I said, there's lots of good color choices for it, even though it only has one primary color. And you can try that Matt Burlesque trick in the Los Santos Customs. And now you'll know ahead of time that where it works and how it works. Yeah, very cool. Let's take it in. Alright, level one. <laughs> yeah, and I was thinking about giving this one a nice bronze. Like in the picture. But that's okay. I like it. I'm gonna always change it again in the future. And now here's our row of Pegasis. <laughs> growing collection. Yep, growing family of Pegasi. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching everybody. I'm the Wizard Sock. Thanks for being here and thanks for uh, liking and subscribing too. And uh yeah, we'll see you again next time for more vehicles and more stuff. I'm a little bit behind lately, so I'll try to catch up. But I wanted to get something I've been meaning to fill in the garages for a showcase one of these days. And there's a bunch of vehicles that I just had to get that I haven't gotten around to. And like I said, this was one of my favorite cruising cars from the original game. And uh, it was just missing from the garage. It had to be bought. <laughs> so I'll see you guys again next time. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, one of my original favorites. Oh, and I scrape it right as soon as I take it out. <laughs> oh, that's just always the way. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you next time. She slides a little, but as long as you're ready for that, it's okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, not in the water. Not in the water. In the bunker. Not in the water. 